Hi, my mommy artists. Um, as you can see, I started doing the gingerbread house. Um, I have brown construction paper, but it would absolutely work if you had any kind of brown paper, you know, like from a paper bag or a lunch bag, um, that would absolutely work. Um, this this uh, option, I have used oil pastels to draw with white. You can see that the lines are thicker and a little bit easier to see. Um, on this one, I'm just using white crayons, just a white Crayola. So once um, I fold the paper in half, that helps me see the symmetrical line so that I do the same thing on both sides of my house and it helps me keep things centered. Um, I like to draw everything so that I have a basic outline with the white uh, and then I go back in with my colors and start adding detail um, and different items or objects, decorating my house, adding color. Of course, um, if I'm gonna draw a tree over here to the side, I'm gonna draw a tree that's green because mm, that makes sense, trees are green. Um, also make sure that some of the objects or items, you're actually filling in with crayon. We're not just leaving an outline because like I said, if it's brown, it makes it look like it's a see-through tree. Um, and it doesn't make it look like it's an actual tree taking up space um, on your paper. So make sure that you've done some things, obviously, that are clear or see-through and other things that you can draw or add the color. Here I'm adding, as on the idea sheet, um, a wreath to the window. So I have the window drawn in the lines of it, and then I just go ahead and draw freehand, kind of like the donut shape for the wreath. Um, and I can add that on top of. Um, these are just your basic everyday Crayolas. So if you have those, they will absolutely work. Um, normally, if we're using oil pastels, I have the Crayola also brand oil pastels. Those I'm mentioning brands because those are usually available at um, grocery stores or at other craft stores that you might get to. But absolutely, you do not have to have those to do the project. Same with you don't have to have construction paper to do the project. Use what you have around the house. I have no problem. Um, I completely understand that we all aren't um, art families and art teachers and we don't have all the resources at our, our disposal or ready for us. So use what you have. Try to make that gingerbread house. I gave you two options. Um, one that is a, a simpler and then another one that is more complex. Choose what works for you. You don't even have to follow the sample if you have your own idea. Um, and it, it's absolutely fine if yours doesn't match or look like mine. But have fun with this. Create a little gingerbread house. Um, they're fun to have around. You could always, you know, put it somewhere. If you folded your paper, it'll probably stand up um, at the end and you can put your um, gingerbread house somewhere on display. I hope you have fun with this. Please remember to color in the objects as you draw them. Please remember to upload a picture at the end so that I can see your creation and have fun doing this. We'll talk more soon.